Hello and Namaskar. Welcome to another session of BW Farhana Tidbits, where I share some of my knowledge and experience. My name is Devanshu Mukherjee, and today we are going to discuss how to stop the default jump to cockpit from BW Farhana Eclipse. Many a times we need to look at the options at the back end, which is the Eclipse side of the things and we don't want the cockpit jump. This is required for exceptional cases. This is not recommended. We should get used to BW400 cockpit as soon as possible. But in certain circumstances, uh, if your BW400 cockpit is not working as expected, or uh, if it's throwing you an error or an issue and you quickly want to troubleshoot a production issue or some other issues and you want the functionality at the back end like DDB monitoring or your ADSO manage, you can still uh, temporarily uh, disable the jump so that you can continue working at the back end, looking at those monitor, access those monitor and continue your work. So today we'll look at the option to do that. So without any further ado, let's get started. The requirement is how to disable the jump, which is a default behavior in BW for HANA to cockpit. So there are different aspects where the Eclipse jumps to cockpit. So what are those different aspects? The first thing we see that, of course, when you do a DTP, when you run a DTP, then it will definitely run uh, to the cockpit or jump to the cockpit. And then the second aspect is uh, ADSO manage. So when you do a manage on an ADSO, it will jump to the cockpit process change. Uh, if you want to try to create a process chain out of a data flow, it will again jump to the cockpit. So sometimes, you know, on the cockpit, uh, if they have not configured, if the admin team or the basis team, they have not configured the cockpit properly, then you will face issues or the features on the cockpit might not work. In uh, those, uh, you know, emergency scenarios or exceptional scenarios, Sometimes you have to stop that jump and keep doing things in the back end while they figure out what's the problem in the cockpit and how they can activate the cockpit successfully. So in that case, what you have to do is you have to disable the jump. And how do you disable the jump to the BW400 cockpit? By deactivating an SICF service. Okay. So there are different SICF services. Okay and those services enable these web portals in fact even for the previous versions of bw we had enterprise portal and now we have bw for hana cockpit which is a fairy based interface where we have different tiles and those tiles will offer different functionalities so first i'll show you the jump and then we will try to disable it and do the same thing okay so and we'll see how it behaves so let's open one of our flows. So I'll go to my info area and we'll expand that. We'll go to our batch three and then we'll open one of the data flows which we created. So we created the data flow LSA++ for the header, sales header. So we'll look at that. So this is this was the flow LSA++ parallel flow which we created. Okay, so now what I'll do is, if you do a right click on this ADSO, say for example, and if you do a manage, you can do a manage of ADSO from here. Manage means you are going inside the ADSO and checking the requests, how many requests are loaded and uh, how many were failed and you know, what is the status, monitoring status of this advanced DSO. So you can right click from here and you can say manage immediately it will go into bw 400 cockpit where you have to log in. So let me log in quickly. Okay, so you have to log in there and then it will show you uh, the user ID password you have to provide. And once your user ID password is successfully authenticated, immediately your manage screen of the ADSO will come up. So let's give it a few seconds uh, and it takes for the first time when you will do it during the day it might take a few seconds because the theory um, takes uh, loading time uh, for the different 
HTML5 elements and JavaScript elements. So UI, the theory is based on HTML5, UI5 technology, and that loads certain components on the web. And that's why for the first time it loads cache. Because when you close the browser and when you log off, it basically the cache is deleted. So the first time when you log in for the day, then it will again re reinitialize and refill the cache for the browser, browser cache. So you have might have to give it a few seconds. So this is one example. So let it come up. We will uh, wait for a few seconds. And the SICF service, which you have to disable is this one. So first of all, what is the T code to go to SICF service? SICF itself is the T code. So we'll open a different session for BW for HANA. So we'll open a GUI session and then we will go to that transaction code called SICF. Okay, so uh, let it come. Yeah, there you go. So SICF. So click on that. So we have the ICF. ICF stands for Internet Communication Framework. There is also another T called SMICM, Internet Communication Manager. And sometimes we go there to check the host name, the services, the HTTPS, the HTTP services. So those are all internet communication related services and framework, which we deal with, which basically uh, does the integration between the web, web, uh, web uh, browser and your backend server. Okay, it's still loading. So let it uh, load. So the service which you have to disable is I think it is BW underscore PCM underscore SRV. If I'm not wrong, let's see. So just give the service name here and click on execute. And okay, I think it's BW4, BW4 HANA, so four. And then we will apply it. Ah, there you go. Yes. So the service name is BW4 underscore PCM underscore SRV. Okay. So this is for OData. So one of the OData services, it falls under the category of OData services for SAP products. And this is under the standard namespace mode. And the service name is BW4 underscore PCM underscore SRV but still taking them, let me refresh it. So this service is activated. If you see the um, service in um, active state, then you have to deactivate it, okay? When you deactivate it, it will show as grayed out or like a white background or gray background, not, not an activated state. So in this case, in our, in our system, it is activated right now. And that's why everything is jumping to your bw hana corporate including your TTPs and including your uh, ADS. So I wanted to, you know, uh, let this come up and I wanted to see that so that we are sure that, okay, BW Fana cockpit is working fine. Anyways, I have logged in here. Let me see if the regular login of BW Fana cockpit is also working fine. Before I deactivate, I just wanted to make sure that it's working fine. That's all. And uh, another way of jumping to BW Fauna cockpit, if you just want to check whether it's working fine or not, is right click on this project and you can say uh, open BW Fauna cockpit and the T code is BW for web, BW for web continuous. That's the T code of you can uh, execute to jump to cockpit. Okay, there you go. So this is how the BW Fauna cockpit looks like. We all know that we have different headers, transport management, authorization, workspace, modeling, data management, etc. And these are different tiles for different headers and they will give you different functionality. Yeah, DTP is, is uh, I don't know why it's taking so much time. I was expecting this to come up. Okay, let me close this because this has been logged in. So let me try again. So we'll go here and we'll right click and we'll say manage, which should take me there. And now it should load faster because cache and everything I'm expecting that browser cache and cookies 
have been already loaded uh so this should be faster yes i think it's working now okay there you go so this is the managed screen of the adso we have default view advanced view and this is all cockpit based so i would not recommend you to disable the service if it is working fine just because you are comfortable with backend uh doesn't mean that you know you should disable it and continue because going forward more and more things will go into cockpit so get familiar with it but in certain scenarios if the cockpit is not working and you have to do monitoring you have to fix issues you have to look at it then you come to sicf services and disable it okay so we have checked this so we let's close this and now we'll right click on this service and we will say deactivate service so when you deactivate service it will ask you do you want to deactivate this service default host sap o data provider sap pwp c my service yes again not recommended but still let's now you see the background has turned to grayed out so it's no more activated so it is deactivated now the best thing is first log off whenever you deactivate a service slash n e x is the transaction code log off from your server close this and then it's better you log off from your pw for hana also so how do you log off right click and close project close project is nothing but logging off from your system that's all you are not actually deleting the project you are just logging off from the project and then you relog relog okay as a best practice because services and all take effect when you again uh, relog it so i'll log in to a back also okay let's check the status of the service whether it's still showing deactivated or not so open a different session the sap gui session uh, go to sicf and service name is w4 underscore pcm underscore srv okay and then it will show you yes it is deactivated now so now what we'll do is we will open the same thing so we'll go to my info area <clears throat> we'll go to batch 3 data flow object the lsa plus plus flow for header and then we will right click and we'll say manage so this manage has not jumped to the cockpit instead within eclipse it opened a different window and the manage screen of your advanced dso is within the eclipse and this is a familiar look and feel from 7.5 so in bw 7.5 you will see this type of look in fact even for dtp let's try for dtp so if you have dtp we'll open the dtp so suppose this is the dtp or i could have taken the first one also that's fine uh, then you go to show last request this also uh, jumps to bw for a cockpit but if i click now it will open within Eclipse my DTP monitor again a similar look and feel for older versions of BW. So now everything your DTPs, your managed screen of ADSO, your process change, etc. Everything will start working in the back end. So that's the service which basically is responsible for jumping to BW for HANA corporate. Uh, today we will continue doing in the back end, but uh, you know. After the session is over, I'm going to revert back the service and then we can continue doing our stuff there. Any questions on this? So this is how you will do it.